All right, welcome back to another adventure. We're out in Washington State again. We're out here at this beautiful creek. The fall colors are just awesome. And we're gonna have a good time, you guys. Now, I brought along the Crua Duo, which has the insulated inner tent. And that is what we're gonna be using tonight. Now, I haven't set it up yet, so I still gotta do that. And then continue with camp chores. But we're gonna settle right in, you guys. Oh, I'm excited. It's gonna be a good time. A lot of you guys might have seen this already, but if you haven't, this is an insulated inner tent and it fits right inside here. And all you have to do is blow it up. There it is, simple as that. So this is basically kind of like a, like a sleeping bag. It's got these little pockets here full of insulation and you don't only have it around you, but you also have it on the floor. This right here is a really good experience when you're camping. Well, there it is. The inside is super dark when you close up everything. You have three vents on the bottom and you also have a couple vents up top as well as some pockets. It really is an awesome experience inside this thing. It not only makes it really dark in here so you can sleep longer, but it cuts down on the noise as well. It kind of muffles the river to like a perfect little volume for like sleeping. Oh, it's gonna be relaxing. <laughs> All right, I got my uh, indoor outdoor thermometer here. So I'm gonna go ahead and store that probably up in this pocket for now. I'll set it in there and uh, we'll check the uh, temperatures. So we'll just monitor the temps in here opposed to the outside and just see how well this tent does. Ugh. It's really nice. Got my little crush light there. We're styling you guys. Okay, I think we're just about done. All right, camp is all set up and it is beautiful out here, you guys. Listening to the water rush, hearing the chipmunks and squirrels, birds. 
the occasional logging truck. That's just the way it is. <laughs> so I keep getting some questions about what I take with me to kind of defend against the wildlife. You know, bears, wolves, cougars, all those fun things. And so I thought I'd show you guys. So I use bear spray. This is counter assault bear spray. I don't know if there's anything special about this one opposed to other ones. So I always have bear spray and an air horn. I'm not gonna do it. I tested it one time and I about lost my hearing. <laughs> uh, the air horn is meant for if you're far enough away and you can get a squeak off to kind of scare them. Um, that's, that's a good way to do it. But you wanna make sure you got your pepper spray ready to go as well. Cause we all know a bear can get you quick. Also, I do bring some protection and that's about it, you guys. I mean, other than uh, storing your food and, and trying to keep a clean camp, there's not a whole lot else you can do to protect yourself. So you just gotta be smart. Gotta be smart and trust in the Lord. And trusting in the Lord is a big part of that as well. <laughs> Lots of prayer. <laughs> All right, well, I've still got some chores to do. We gotta go collect some firewood because we're gonna have a wood fire. No propane this time. They finally lifted the burn ban so I can strike a match and enjoy a nice wood fire. I'm gonna grab some of this uh, really dry shavings here. That should be perfect. Perfect for starting my fire. Look at all that. Yeah, it's nice and dry. Nice little bird's nest right there. All right, so I have some char cloth that I made like long time ago. We're gonna try to use this. See what we can do. We just need a little bit of it. Just a little bit.
All right, we got a nice fire going. A real nice fire. So the wood that was here and some of the wood that I got was pretty wet. So I had to go out and scrap up some more wood. <laughs> uh, so it took me a little bit longer. I still have some that I can probably chop up, but really I just need to need to get dinner going. I've got a fun dinner tonight. Uh, well, at least the way of cooking it's gonna be fun, I think. <laughs> Here, let me show you. All right, I have a fishing pole. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but basically what it is, is it's for s'mores or bratwursts or hot dogs or whatever you want to call them. And it's really cool. So I'm just going to be fishing with my hot dogs tonight. <laughs> so I'm going to put my brats on here, roast it over the fire. And when you need to flip it, you just jig it. Poof, poof. Oof. <laughs> I thought that was really cool and I thought it would be really fun to try out so that's what we're cooking tonight I'm gonna do some bratwursts well, there goes that piece Get those brats on there. So we'll just go ahead and stick that right through there, just like that. Oh, that looks good. Now these are boiled already, so I just gotta really heat them up. And they are going to be great. Okay, let's see here. See if I can get it to flip. It works. <laughs> Ready for a flip? Just got to jig it. <laughs> That's fun right there. I'll just swing them. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much for this time, Lord. I just thank you for the beauty, and I just thank you for this fire, Lord, the, the provision to be able to cook food out here. I pray that you will bless it to my body. Lord, I continue to pray for this world, the things that are going on, Lord. It's nothing that you don't know about, and Lord, you will make things right. Father, I continue to pray for the family as I'm away, Lord, keep them safe. And I just thank you and give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Oh, guys, that was fun. I think I had way too much fun cooking those brats over the fire with that uh, fishing pole. <laughs> that thing is awesome, you guys. Oh, yeah. Look at those. All right. I must confess, I did have a bite already, and it's delicious, you guys. I had to get a bite in before it got cold. But, man, sauerkraut, onion, a... Granny Smith apple added to the mix. Give it a little tart, a little bit of sweet. And then man, that bratwurst. Woo, doggy. Oh, that's fantastic. That is so good. 
It is like a pow to the face. This is delicious. It's messy, but man, that sauerkraut tastes really good. And so does the apple. The little apple is kind of the, the kicker. Yeah, it's, it's tart, but still got some sweet to it. It's very good. Alright, I'm gonna do a little bit of a marshmallow. I'm gonna have s'mores for for uh, dessert tonight. Let's see. Put one on each side, I guess. There we go. Let's get to fishing. Look at those. Oh, they're perfect. Okay, I got vanilla wafers for these ones. Sound good? And then I do have one chocolate. Bueno. Bueno mini. Doesn't quite squish down, does it? I've never had a s'more with uh, vanilla wafers, so I think it's gonna be good. That's really good. The vanilla wafer is awesome with a uh, s'more. Man, I really like that little fishing pole. That thing is awesome, you guys. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but I'll leave a link down below where you guys can find it. And uh, yeah, roast yourself a marshmallow or some brats or whatever and let me know if you if you do get one let me know so it's currently 8 36 in the evening um i'm really just kind of winding down now i'll sit by the fire for a little bit and then go hit the sack i am curious to see what the temperatures are going to be like tonight we're getting into the colder temperatures you guys and I'm really excited for it. Snow is just around the corner. And man, I cannot wait, you guys. I'm ready to pull out the hot tent, I'll tell you what. All right, you guys, we're inside the tent. Getting it nice and warm in here. It's currently 10 o'clock and it's 46 degrees Fahrenheit outside and 63 degrees Fahrenheit inside. And for my Celsius friends, that's eight degrees Celsius outside and 17 degrees Celsius inside. So far, it is feeling nice and toasty in here, you guys. It's working really well. All right, so I did set up the trail cam like always, got to make sure just in case there's something out there, we're going to catch it. I'm hoping maybe something will come through there. I don't know. It's quite the tripwire right there. <laughs> Look at all those lines. I mean, if anything comes around my tent, they're just going to get tangled up. Oh, was that a mouse? I think I just saw a mouse. Of course I saw a mouse. A little bugger. <laughs> So yeah, if we do see anything, you guys, I'll let you know. Um, 
I don't know. Possibilities? There's always a possibility. We'll see what happens. All right, I better hit the sack before I fall asleep just sitting here. See y'all in the morning. Good night. dark in here. Oh, find the light. Oh. oh man. Well good morning. Oh man it's uh it's eight o'clock. It's still dark in here. <laughs> I need to get up though. As much as I want to sleep in, I want to keep sleeping in, I need to get up. So, let's take a look at those temperatures. <sighs> Looks like we got about 37 degrees outside and 53 degrees inside. And Celsius, that's 3 outside and 12 inside. So we stayed nice and warm, you guys. I stayed real toasty. I mean, I'm just in my t-shirt. No problems. Works really well. I like it. Love this tent. Every time I take it out, I have a good time in it. All right, we'll get up and see what the day has for us. This is a beautiful morning. The sun's up, coming through the trees. We've got the creek flowing right here. This is my type of place. Definitely my type of place. Oh, I see a little fish. See some really small ones. So these pools actually right here were built by the, I don't know if, who, who did it. US Forest Service or hatchery or whoever is in control of that. Anyways, this creek here is a big habitat for rainbow trout, brook trout, and some cutthroat. So what they did is they built up these little pools to kind of help them uh, have an area to be, to, to find food and all that, you know, which I thought was really cool. Such a beautiful, beautiful spot. Now I didn't bring my fishing pole, so I won't be doing any fishing. All right, I need some coffee and some breakfast. Get my day started right.
Well, I was just about to have a peaceful cup of coffee and BLM showed up and started working on something. So, <laughs> you know what? That's just what happens. Sometimes you're out in beautiful nature and things are quiet and calm. And other times, modern society comes and has to work on stuff, I guess. It probably has something to do with the creek and maintaining its uh, sustainability or whatever. So I'm all okay with that. It's just, you guys are gonna have to bear with me. Might have a little bit of background noise. <laughs> but that's some good coffee right there. It's an instant coffee. Um, I just figure I like to try different stuff and I saw that in the store and I was like, you know what, I haven't really had an instant coffee. So I'm trying it and it's pretty good. Pretty good for an instant coffee, I guess. Ah, still a beautiful morning. Still a beautiful, beautiful morning. I keep seeing these little trout like swimming around up in the pool. Look like they're having fun. <laughs> Grow to be big and swim, swim far into the lake. Look at that, two egg, two bacon, just what I need. That looks like a tasty, tasty breakfast right there. But I'm not the only one that wants my breakfast. There are crazy amounts of bees right now. I don't know if I have to like eat in the tent or something. <laughs> oh, they're after the meat. The meat, the meat. Woo. At least I think they're bees. We'll see what happens here when I try to eat a little bit. Hopefully they're not killer bees. All right, the food is up. Let's see how quickly they come around. Oh boy. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I might have to eat in the tent. <laughs> I can't even open this plate up without having the bees swarm me. This is crazy. They must have all been uh, kicked out of their nest for now and they're after the meat. It's crazy. All right, you guys, I'm inside the tent. I'm gonna open this up and see if they all come, come towards me. I've got it all uh, secured, but that don't mean that they ain't gonna find their way in here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to eat this quick, I guess. Can you smell it there, Mr. Bees? Oh yeah, that's good right there. That is some good bacon. Mm. The only thing this is missing is some toast. I should have had some toast. I don't know why I didn't bring toast. That would have been a smart thing to do.
All right, it's finished. That was a lot of fun, you guys. I know a lot of you have asked for me to do more paintings, and I just want to say thank you for encouraging me to do so, because it sure is a lot of fun. I'm not the best at it, but you only get better the more you do it. <laughs> if you want to see me do more paintings, I guess just comment down below. Well, I think what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to give it away to one of you guys. I've done that with all of my paintings so far, and I figure why not share this with one of you guys as well. What I'll do is I'll post this on the community tab in YouTube. Um, you'll just see this picture and I'll have you guys comment and then I will randomly select one of you guys to get this painting. If that sounds like something you want to win, make sure you have the bell notification on and obviously that you're subscribed. And I'll give you more details through throughout the week or whatever. So yeah, one of you guys can enjoy this. <laughs> All right, well, I gotta get out of here, you guys. It's getting late, and I've gotta drive ahead of me. So I gotta pack up and get out of here. As always, thank you so much for watching. God bless, and I'll see you on the next adventure. <laughs>